build all this stuff, right? Yeah, most of it. NASA builds some of it. I have people. Have, yeah, <laughs> but you're making but, a joke. But wasn't your father a NASA he engineer? Was. He was. My dad. My dad. I was, I, but that's that's why, in a sense, that, that statement was true. My dad did build me some things, and he did work at NASA. So a lot of the stuff was built from NASA. Yeah, <laughs> I had, a, I had a, a helmet that had these these little NASCARs that go around it. So when, if you can't go to a NASCAR, you wear this home so you feel like you're at the race. It was stupid. But my dad's like, oh, I can make that. Um, really? So he made a lot of um, a lot of uh, props. So did people ever walk into his office at NASA? <laughs> <Yeah, he's> nice. Like, <laughs> this is and not. He's there this is, <laughs> he's, got, he's got Hot Wheels and a little track. <laughs> what planet is this for? Yeah, is this for the shuttle? <laughs> what is it for the Skylab? What is this? Yeah. Did yeah. he work on the shuttle? Yeah. He worked on, on Skylab and Apollo and all that. Yeah. He was, wow. he, yeah, very, he, my dad was very cool. He built, um, uh, we well, trained them to drive the, on the moon, the, 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 mo, the lunar module. He uh, trained them to Yeah, do that? it was a simulator. So he would train them to the astronauts to, to ride on the, on the moon, which apparently they didn't, but my dad would beat somebody up right now if they said they didn't go to the moon. But, uh, the thing that I thought was most cool was, uh, when they, when they, when they piggybacked the shuttle on top of the 747, and, and had to oh, I, can't, I went out on the roof to watch that come in here to right California. so here's the cool th I think cool thing as far as engineering and, and logistics and all that go is not only did they have to figure out a way to get the shuttle and the weight and the whole thing of the idea of putting it on top of another airplane right they've never done that right so they all these engineers sat in a room like what do we got to do we got to figure out a way to to get it to land so someone said well how about we we have to get it up in the air and someone said how about we just put it on the back of a 747 and release it off the 747 and then we can know if it lands or not. And I'm like, that's cool shit to me, right? So you're like, you know, I'm trying to build a, a walker with a dildo on it with duct tape and that's hard <laughs> enough. But this, you know, to, to have a room full of engineers go, well, first of all, how do we get the weight? And then when you, how do you get the clamps? They built the clamps. My dad used to come home and say, I'm working on this clamp idea to hold the shuttle. To see your dad working at the dining room table and you yeah. working at the same yes, dining room yes. table with <laughs> the dildo and the clamps. <laughs> yeah. Sounds like yeah. the same kind but of thing. But how they did that is unreal because they had, because once, it, not only did you get it to stay on there, but when they, when they released, released it, it. That had to that had to not crash into the other. Like, how do they know how that worked? They they release. You it. couldn't release a tampon I from release a, a tampon from a, from a purse. briefcase. Yeah. <laughs> and then it landed, and of course they all went, you know had a big party and and got drunk and said we we did it. But I remember me and my dad. He was so stressed out about that when he came home. He said, "I can't believe that um, it, it was a success and we we did it. We we got it to go off and what land great, successfully. Yeah, it was cool. A kid from Florida watching. Yeah. I remember growing up. The space program was yeah. always. I'm Canadian. Yeah, the right, space program right. was huge and oh, those yeah. are everybody who worked on it including the the astronauts but all the people behind yeah. the scenes and at ground control and and all the engineers yeah. i mean they're that's heroic was yeah there, it's cool it's cool did he i didn't think it was cool when i was a kid I just, really oh yeah no i didn't want to go to a launch i wanted to watch the brady bunch or partridge family or something and so my dad's like you're going to a launch and you know on top of the vab i don't want to go to this crap um, really? Didn't other kids say how cool it was? Like to say that your dad works. Well, the, yeah, maybe looking back on it, uh, maybe. But I, I mean, I didn't think it wasn't cool. I just didn't get it. I was like, okay, he works at NASA. I didn't understand really until I met when I met the astronauts and kind of that was kind of a rock star moment. We went to see uh, John Young and Bill uh, Bob Cripp and the two, the first two guys that went up in the shuttle. And my dad says, we're going to go meet the astronauts. They're going to take the shuttle up. So I was like, oh. That, Wow. Okay. It was like meeting, you know, Prince. And it was like, wow, I get to meet, these are real celebrities. And it was funny because we get there and, uh, there's, there's like this big field, you know, where the VAB and all that stuff is. Where the what? Where the, the vehicle assembly building, where they build the shuttle and all this stuff stores in. So there's a big building and all, all of NASA, but there's where the launch pad, there's like just grass field. And they had these tents for hot dogs and food and beer and coke. So my dad says, um, what do you want? I said, I don't know, I have a hot dog and a Coke. And my dad looks at the, the line for the hot dog and Coke line was like 50 people deep. And the line for the beer was like one person. So my dad says, you're going you're gonna to have a beer. And <laughs> How I was, old were you? I, never, I was like 13. <laughs> and I remember saying, okay. And so I'm just, I'm just like, okay. So he said, don't tell your mother. At first he looked at me, he said, you like, how is it? I said, I don't like it. And well, don't tell your mother. And I don't remember if I had one, two sips, but I remember it was like, it was like three rockets going off. It was just like, I was so, I was so plastered dry, I didn't even know. And I came home, my mom was like, how was the launch? I'm like, I was, I was so drunk, I don't even know my dad. <laughs> fucking good. So yeah. Did he want you to go into? Uh... Oh yeah, there's a whole bit in my show where you're gonna be a, you're gonna work at NASA like me. I'm like, dad, it's, it's me. Cause my brother went to the Air Force Academy 
and was an F-16 fighter jet pilot, literally. Your brother? Yeah. And, and so <laughs> I do a whole thing in the show with slides where I say my dad worked at NASA and built rockets and my brother went to the Air Force Academy. And then there's me and it does this whole, you know, black sheep of the family song. And it's a picture of me in an AT&T commercial. I'm like this, you know, dorky. And uh, I do a whole story about, yes, yeah, so in my whole adopted life, I really wanted to be a comedian. I tell the whole story about trying to get into comedy. 